What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something that I get asked quite often and that is the question of which is better for logo design, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator? Why did graphic designers need to know a program, a vector program like Adobe Illustrator in the first place? So I'm here to try and answer that and demystify some of that uh, debate that is going on. Um, so basically, you know, when you're starting off it's important to know the difference between a raster image or a pixel-based program like Photoshop and uh, vector artwork or something that you would create in Adobe Illustrator. And in Photoshop, anytime you're working on something, if you zoom in really closely, you'll see that the whole image is made up of these tiny little squares called pixels. And that is the way that Photoshop works, you know, and, and you'll see that if you look up close in any image or photo or pretty much anything that you open in the program. Um, but conversely, if you look in a program like Adobe Illustrator or another vector-based program, um, it's basically ma a mathematic calculation that's um, composed of shapes and points. Um, so the, a better way to explain it is, is this. If you're creating a t-shirt graphic, for example, right, and say you're in Photoshop and you have you know, a 5x5 or an 8.5x11 image, but all of a sudden you need to blow it up to fill up a, a t-shirt and you need to make it twice the size. Well, if you're blowing that up to twice the size that you originally created it, it's going to look distorted and pixelated and it's going to be crap. You're not going to be able to use it, you know, or if you do use it, it's not going to look very good. Um, but on the other side of it, if you use a program like Illustrator to create a graphic that is made up of, of points and shapes and it isn't these tiny pixels, if you try to blow that up, from its original size of five by five or eight and a half by 11, you'll be fine. And that is the, the main point that I wanted to make here is that a vector is scalable, all right? So you can blow it up. And, and the same thing applies to, to a logo design, right? If you're working in Photoshop to make your logos, what happens when you need to blow it up to put it into you know an ad or a web banner and you're constantly resizing it, you know, shrinking it down and blowing it up or if you need to put it on, on a billboard or a sign, if you're doing some kind of advertising, doing it in Photoshop is not the way to go. You wanna make sure that your logo is a vector-based uh, graphic that will be scalable in any size. That means you can you know, blow it up to be on something that's you know, 20 feet tall by 20 feet wide, or you can shrink it down on a business card and it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna retain uh, all of the integrity and quality of your original image. Whereas Photoshop, um, you know, while it's great for so many things, it is not great for scalable graphics. So anytime that you're going to need to resize something to make it larger or smaller, you want to try to keep it vector as much as possible. And, you know, that's the other part of the question is why do designers need to know, uh, you know, a vector program like Illustrator? Well, because you should be comfortable creating logos and creating scalable graphics just as much as you are creating uh, pixel-based images and you know raster images and things like that. So again, you know, Photoshop is great for, you know, photo manipulation, photo retouching. You know, those are very specific to working with photos and working with images. Whereas Illustrator is better even if you're working with type and creating, you know, like, you know, from from logos to brands to patterns, um, anything that's going to be scalable, t-shirt graphics and apparel design, um, all those things are uh, you know, going to come out way better for you if you do them in Adobe Illustrator. So, you know, it's just something that I see people do a lot and, and people ask a lot about it, uh, you know, which is better for, for, for this and which is better for that. And, you know, it really depends on the project. But again, graphic design is way more than just the, the programs you use, you know, Photoshop versus Illustrator. Um, there's other things too, you know, like uh, InDesign, Dreamweaver, Flash, all of that stuff. But um, when it comes to, to branding and scalable graphics and, and logo design, uh, hands down, Adobe Illustrator is the way to go. And I've already done some Illustrator tutorials for you guys, and I'm going to continue to try to bring you a lot of value and content uh, that will help you to up your skills, because I know a lot of people um, who want to improve their abilities, either in Photoshop or Illustrator. So I'm going to be you know, continuing to try and do that as well as bringing you guys uh, some tutorials in, in InDesign to help you with you know, things like page layout, uh, brochure design, and so forth. So um, I hope that this helps to answer some of your questions and uh, you know, shed a little light on this debate. 
Um, again, you know, this is part of it is my opinion, but you know, it's also uh, some of it is is just fact. It's just the way it is. You know, these programs are made uh, to handle different types of projects. Um, so I just wanted to try and explain that a little bit in a short video, and uh, hopefully you guys found it helpful. If so, uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, share and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. And as always, guys, you know, go ahead and sign up for our email list. We've got tons of free content, tons of giveaways. Uh, but the main thing that I'm promoting right now is our Design Better contest. And I just wanted to take a second to uh, tell you guys about that because it gives you, the viewers, the opportunity to ask me any design-related questions that you have. And I will use my all my you know design experience and anything like that that I can to help you guys with those questions. But it will also give you the chance to tell me what kind of projects you're working on right now that you may be struggling with. If you're working on a logo of your own or an image or you know a photo manipulation or anything like that that you feel stuck on or you just want some feedback on, then go ahead and check out the Design Better contest. I'm going to pick three to five people each month, answer your questions, and work on your project in one of my videos to really help you guys step up your game and help you design better right now. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.